Hello friends, Ben Ochart here. Thank you for tuning in. Well, I went ahead and did it. And uh, now my fingers are crossed. I've been observing and it looks uh, pretty good so far. But uh, you know how it is with cichlids. Any second, that little uh, switch can flick and everything can change. Let me tell you what, what I'm talking about here. So for those of you familiar with my channel, you know that in the tank behind me here, this 55 gallon, I had a beautiful, uh, I had a beautiful red tear that was a, actually a gift from, uh, from uh, my friend Whip, uh, a subscriber of the channel who came over with a couple friends and delivered them to me. And it was awesome. He's an awesome fish, love that fish. And uh, I was even thinking about uh, breeding him. In the meantime, I wanted to see how he would do in the 210 gallon. Some of you uh, were very, very adamant about don't do it, it'll be a disaster. Some of you were saying, hey, that might work. And um, I went with my original plan and uh, I saw some very interesting behaviors. And I know this can change. So uh, this is subject to change without notice. But for right now, it looks like uh, things are, are okay, relatively calm. I did a, uh, a very minor, minor redecorating, just to shake things up, just to uh, mix things up a little bit. I just moved a, a few of the rocks in the foreground of the tank and uh, just to give it a little bit of a different look. And I brought over the cave, uh, the cave that was in the 55. Interestingly enough, the uh, red tear was hiding in the cave. And so when I pulled it, when I, sl I gently, slowly pulled the cave out of the 55 with the water in it, of course, and I just dropped it into this tank. And uh, so the, uh, the red tear had very little, very little uh, stress in coming over. When he first came over, the Oscars were very, very interested in him, in particular the, uh, the larger red tiger. And he was demonstrating some very interesting behaviors. He was changing colors. He was going very light and very dark. And he was holding his mouth open, hold, holding his mouth open and holding it open, like telling him, you know, like, you know, I, I, could, I could probably get you in my mouth if I wanted to. It was definitely a, a, uh, a threatening gesture. The, uh, the, 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 the Salvini was a bit more on the attack and the Salvini has teeth. And so that's more of concern, but then the Salvini lost interest and then went back into her cave. Fortunately, the Oscar doesn't have teeth. I know that for a fact because uh, he went all the way up to my first knuckle uh, today when I was messing in the tank. He went up, clamped on and held on, and thank goodness he, uh, he doesn't have teeth. I brought, over the, um, I brought over the silver dollars, and the silver dollars at first were a little bit mixed up and scattered, and then they, they, uh, they gradually regrouped and, and now are in a, uh, a sort of a tight school, the kind of school that you see when fish are trying to uh, uh, you know, stay, out of, stay out of danger, right? So they're, they're, they, they, there was a couple stragglers on each side of the tank that were kind of confused, not sure what to do. Uh, three of them were, were swimming together. Then the other two finally joined up with, with the school and now they're, they're, they're staying tight and together. Uh, the other fish have been sort of interested in them, but not that much. The uh, Salvini is checking out the cave of the uh, red tear. Might end up taking it from him. I mean, the Salvini is just just has a lot more, a lot more attitude than that red tear. Uh, the red tear did get a couple a couple shots on the side. He's missing a, a couple, uh, you know, just just a couple scales on the side. I think probably from being hit by the Oscar. But now the Oscar just wandered off and lost interest. I gave him a, uh, a feeding of bloodworms, uh, turned the lights off, and uh, let them all kind of chill. And so let's keep an eye on it and, and see what happens. I'm keeping, I'm keeping this, this tank back here, this 55. I am gonna, I am gonna keep it available, available so that if I do need to uh, pull the red tear out, I, I have a place to put them in. 
And um, if everything does work out, that'll be an excellent uh, quarantine or hospital tank for new fish that come in. Okay, so uh, I'll give you an update on what's going on here on uh, on Saturday at the at the Cichlids Cichlids and Coffee live stream. Uh, be sure to tune in every Saturday at 11 a.m. Central, 9 a.m. Pacific, noon Eastern. If you'd like to support the efforts of this channel, consider becoming a Patreon monthly supporter. Details are under the video. Starts for as little as three dollars a month. Uh, those folks really help me to keep things going. And of course, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell. All of that helps. All of that tells YouTube something good's going on and encourages YouTube to share the video with other other folks. Okay. Thank you for tuning in, and uh, I'm going to turn these lights off, let them continue to kind of relax and chill. At the same time, I'm going to be keeping a very close eye on things. All right, see you next time. Bye-bye.